five persons at this location and, and, and another location in Arima where we had three persons uh, who uh, were murdered. We believe that the both set of murders are connected. The crime scene officers and the detectives are presently on the ground. Right, um, we are preparing for any sort of reprisal and other things that may occur within this division. As we know, this division is very volatile in relation to the number of shootings and murders that we are having over the years. Yes, we have the necessary reinforcement and officers to deal with the situation. However, this what happened this morning in this division is something that we will re respond and respond with the necessary force that is required, taking into account what is required of the law. So uh, very soon, y'all, we, we are hoping that through the homicide investigators, we will be able to solve these murders. Is any initial investigation, any motive here concerned that is what caused this? Well, at this stage, it is very difficult to say. On the surface of it, it might appear to be drug-related. We are not sure as yet. As I said, as we continue the investigation, we'll be able to say something more positive about, about this particular occurrence. This is for this occasion. Can you give us a breakdown in terms of male, female? Um, well, at, the, at this stage, with the division, with the eight murders that they are looking at, they have two females, six males. And you have the names of the victims for up here? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, we have the names chronicled, but I don't have it on me right now to give the names, and it wouldn't be wise as the investigation is still ongoing. How does the TTPS um, see this eight murders in one day and we're in a state of emergency? What does that say for, for, for how people think about law and order in this country? Yeah, well, once you have gang activities taking place in any country, whether or not it have a state of emergency, yes or no, and these activities continue, these things can result. If you look at some other countries like um, what happened in Jamaica and even in the United States and some other countries where there is a state of emergency, you have these things occurring because the state of emergency don't remove organized crime and gang activities. If it was so, then we just simply call state of emergencies and the gangs and the activities would have been just vanished, but it will not. And that is the reason why we continue keeping total vigilance and having our officers and them properly trained to deal with the situation. We don't expect, because we have an SOE, that all of a sudden criminal activities will be removed. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr.